Hey guys, so today we're going to be looking at how to replace your alternator and your Suzuki Forenza. And this one's a 2006 and it's got the 2.0 liter. Let's check it out. Okay, and first thing we're going to do, flathead screwdriver that and that little guy right here. Then take some pliers, pull this off of here. We're going to go ahead and pick this guy up, set him out of the way. Also, there's a connector that plugs in on the back side of that. You just squeeze and pull off. And now... We'll be able to look at our alternator, which is right here. First thing, we need to take the belt off, and that is going to be down here. The tensioner is right there, and that is, hopefully we can light this thing up. Yeah, there we go. That is a 15 millimeter um, bolt on the end of it. You spin it right, and that loosens it. I take a uh, wrench like that and then I stick the wrench on the end and then I'll pull it while well, push it righty tighty and that'll loosen up the belt and we'll just slide it off here at the bottom. Okay guys and next we've got five 12 millimeter bolts one here one over here and one that sits right here on this little bracket and a 10 millimeter that sits in there. We're gonna take this guy off and then you have two more bolts of those five one two so you get those 512s and that 110 off. And then, now, we're seeing we're kind of clear here. Slide the belt off. And then we have a wire. I think it's just under here at my finger. And then one more bolt holding the alternator on. So we'll see that here in a second. Okay, guys. And next thing, um, I'm disconnecting the main positive on that side. Always remember to disconnect your negative battery cable right there and then so that was a 12 and this guy sits right here you can see take the wire off once you get the 12 off and then we got this wire right here let's light it up there we go and the way i did that was i took a pick like you're seeing right here i just reached around grabbed on a little tab and then pulled up and i caught my pick right at the end of here and now we just have that one mounting bolt at the bottom and we should be able to pull this guy right out okay guys so here's a look at where that bolt is you can see the socket right there it's a 14 and it's going to be hard to get a ratchet on that's so what i did just a 10 millimeter right here and a 12 millimeter right down there at the end of that you just take those out pick this guy up set your air box off to the side and now we've got more wiggle room so I can stick my hand in here really get a ratchet on that 14 we'll pull that guy out and check it out okay guys so the alternator just cleared right out of here but there is one little extra step apparently Suzuki thought it was a cool idea to be like hey let's just put in this extra little bracket so there is two 14 millimeter bolts on this bracket because the mounting bolt for the lower bolt on the alternator sitting right there it will not clear the body so you gotta take the two 14s off right here and then the alternator just comes up and out of your way so that's it the installation is reverse the removal thanks for watching